what's up everyone it's the pepper ranger and today i'm going to be reviewing drax's the dream purple peach it's a creation uh from drax diego uh i wanted to look up the origin of this i know he has the dream uh, which is a red uh pepper and this is the purple peach variant of it and he had the cross listed but now it says currently unavailable so i'll uh if once i figure it out I'll post that in the description, um, but I have two plants of these growing. One, which is the one I pulled this uh, awesome pepper off of, is a, uh, a lighter dark foliage plant. The other one is like almost near black. Pods are not as gnarly and uh, and yeah, so a little bit off pheno in terms of color and shape, I believe. Um, based on the photos I found on uh, the website. But uh, let's go take a look at the plant. All right, so here are my two Draxus the Dream purple peach plants. Uh, the left, as you can see, much darker foliage. Let's try to see if I can find a pod here. Maybe when I get thrown to the other side. Um, but this one, uh, more green with the dark foliage. Um, it's an unstable variety. I think it's F three or f4 but um so you'll get some variation which is i'm glad i planted uh two plants but we have a ripe pepper um it's gonna be a little bit off you know in terms of uh color and uh shape i believe but it is still one of the coolest peppers um i have grown let's see if we can get around to the other side So yeah, um, here are some of these. These ones I've noticed are a little bit more um, probably on Fino in terms of what I've seen on Drax Diego's uh, website, draxespeppers.com, I believe. Um, but these ones have just put out some gnarly looking pods. So I'm happy with both. Uh, just excited to kind of see uh, what the plant over here on the right, uh, how those ripen, but let's go ahead and take this guy off. Man, that is beautiful. All right, so now that we had a look at the plant, let's, uh, let's cut her open. I have no idea what the heat level is on this, but this is, uh, Variety I've been looking forward to once I started seeing the pod show up. I just see it already. I can already smell very chinense aroma. Oh boy. A ton of oil. I'm gonna try and do half at a time just so I can try and focus it but yeah all those yellow spots there's all calf oil so I'd say this is uh, thin to medium thin walls placenta runs just about from top to bottom yeah and the smell is very much like a fruity orange habanero. If it tastes as good as it looks, uh, I'll be happy. This is one sexy pepper. So I'm just taking the seeds and some placenta out of this. And yeah, I'm gonna eat uh, just half of this. Cause it looks, I mean, I've seen some oily peppers before, but this thing, so like look right along the middle of that. I don't know if it'll focus. Just super oily. So yeah, nothing left to do but chow down. Man, it smells amazing. Cheers.
and then you hit. <laughs> okay. Um, right off the bat, bat, that is one awesome tasting pepper. A hint of floralness, maybe a little bit more than I'd prefer. But it also has like a fruity citrus taste to it. The heat is probably right around. Oh man, it's hard to say. It's really burning my tongue. I like bad. All the side and then the tip. My tolerance has gone up some. So, uh, like I want to say it's. maybe around like four, 500 Scoville heat range. Like even if this pepper tasted like garbage, I would grill it just because it looks fantastic, but it's actually a really great tasting pepper. And it's, it has an awesome burn. My eyes are watering, but it's just, I mean, it's a very comfortable, just all around mouth burn. I, swall I swallowed some <clears throat> as I was chewing, so I'm getting some down here. Nose is starting to water a little bit. Or I, I should say run. Jax Diego, you, uh, so I think he's from Italy. I'll have to check that, double check that, so don't quote me on it. But not only is he just an amazing grower, but he's an amazing crossbreeder. Um, go on his website, check it out. Just some awesome varieties. Uh, a lot are in like early filial generations. So I think this was F3 seeds. So that's an F4 plant. F4 seeds. I'm gonna continue to grow this one out. Um, and I think I'll do both. I'm gonna see what the other one ripens to. If it's a similar color, um, I like the shape of these ones so far better. Um, but I'll do a taste test on the other one as well. It's like a numbing burn, getting some of that endorphin rush. If you can get your hands on these seeds, I definitely recommend growing them. Plants are beautiful. Pods go from like that super dark when they come out and then they'll get bigger, start to turn a little more green. They'll go almost completely green with some blush on it, and then turn this peach color with the blush still intact. And man, it's just super oily. I can't believe how much oil is in that. A lot of seeds too, I'd say around 50 seeds. Most look pretty healthy. <coughs> I think that's about it for the burn. Um, I'll give it like a six, six out of 10. I never reached uh, panic mode. I think, uh, you know, eight to nine to 10 out of 10. That's when we start getting to panic, panic mode. Um, but this was just, it was a really good burn, comfortable all the way through though. So that's gonna be it for today. Um, I think I have right around 475 subscribers. So if you're watching and uh, you're not subscribed, please subscribe, let's get to 500. Uh, and I might do a little seed giveaway, possibly involve some of these seeds. Um, so stay tuned for that. Check me out on Instagram, pepper.ranger. And yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how your season's going. Um, yeah. Hope you guys have a nice day. Cheers.